let me just show you. What I have here is just one of the little hand uh, gyroscopes that you can buy at the dime store. And uh, first of all, I want to show you about what a body does when it's in zero G, and that is when you let it go, it just drifts. Now, if you translate that body, or if you hit it, it moves in translation, and it also tumbles. You notice it tumbles the whole time. And we can hit it in a different direction, and it just keeps on tumbling and moving in the direction you hit it. There's no, there's no damping. There's no uh, effort on the part of the body to maintain itself in the position that it was in the beginning. All right. There's my gyro. There's my string looking to get tangled. Now I'm going to turn this little rascal loose. There. Okay. And I'm going to use these two soda straws in order to provide the forces that I need. Now I've got this gyro spinning quite fast now. And now notice when I hit it with a straw or deflect it. See, it moves in translation, does it? Just, just exactly the way it did before. But you notice that when I hit it, it doesn't want to tumble or drift in rotation. It maintains its rigidity in space. And this is a principle that's very widely used in spacecraft. Now, remember I told you that the spin axis is up this way, the rotation is this way, and that's the way I've got it set up on this gyro now. Now, if I push on that side of the disc, I expect the gyro to tip this way and show the bottom to you. So let's see what happens if I do that. with it, but it was precessing 90 degrees from the way that I was trying to get it to go. 